what's up? My name is Melinda. I'm a Sephora beauty director. And I'm Helen. I'm the national artist for Sephora Collection. We both really like products in our everyday routine. I feel like that pack a lot of benefits, but also a lot of payoff. Yes. So Helen and I are gonna walk through an everyday routine, makeup routine, and kind of show you some of our favorites in that realm. Yeah, and what I love about these products is they're super versatile, and obviously Melinda and I have unique styles, so we're gonna show you how we use them in a way that matches our style. So let's jump in. Yep. Okay, so let's dive in to foundation. I always feel a little naked without it. So this is Sephora Collection's Clean Glowing Skin Foundation, and this has vitamin C in it. It also has matcha tea, so it's really hydrating and brightening. It's just really good for your skin, and the thing that I like about it is that it's super buildable. So I yeah. wear it kind of sheer, and I know you like it. Yeah, coverage. that's what's cool. <laughs> I feel like that's what's cool about doing this together too. Like you're gonna go super sheer. I also have like this little friend on my chin. It's actually not that bad, but I'm gonna do a little bit more coverage because I have some redness, a little breakout, and then I feel like you can go a little bit lighter and we can kind of show the difference of how yeah. you can wear it. I think that's a great idea because it truly is super buildable and I just love, what shade are you wearing? I'm wearing 11. I have 15. Which I always think that 11, I've never been in 11 in anything. I mean, <laughs> I'm always like number three. So this is always like funny to me, but I love the shade range. It's really good, it's very versatile. And I am just using a brush to apply because sometimes when I want it to be thinner, a like thicker brush sometimes so buffs it out. Also like that, that we're both using different tools because just like, first of all, I've been using this for only a couple weeks now. Okay. I love my color. I will say I, I bounce between two colors. 15 I wear when I have my faux tanner on. So it gives me like Same. a little bit more warmth. We're eleven when I'm with yeah. my faux tanner on. Me and Helen, we don't tan, <laughs> you know? We, we do the SPF, we SPF. do the shade, and we let the makeup do a little bit more of the giving us the glow, if you will. You know, keep that skin safe. Yeah, usually I'm like a, a nine or even a seven in the winter. But what I love about this foundation in particular is just the fact that you can wear it in so many ways. Yeah. So you could like take this on a trip with you and you could build it up and do more full coverage if you're gonna like wear a smoky eye to dinner or something like that. Such a good point. Um, or you can do your SPF underneath it, throw on just like a little bit with your fingers and it's like super you can mix easy it every day. Your, yeah, you can mix it in with your foundation or with your um, SPF. I've done that before, it looks great. It's truly an everyday foundation. Yeah. Like I feel like you can make it work it, no matter what you're going for. It blends really well with pretty much anything. Like if you really needed to sheer it out, yeah, the SPF will do that for you. It'll give you a little bit. I'll use my hands too. <sighs> I like using my hands. I always love to apply with my fingers. I think it looks almost always like the most, most natural. I've always felt that way as well, but the beauty blender I've really come back around to as of late because just when you add layers, like when we go into our blush, I'll show you what I mean. When you add the blush, then you get like the blending and like you have the old product on yes. it that blends with the new product. And yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I really I like, phases. I feel like, um, I'm kind of the same way. I don't know, I bounce around. So like I do sometimes use tools to make things look a little bit more like one with my skin. But then, you know, if you're doing it every day, sometimes it's just fast to do it with your fingers and build you know, the coverage up. Like I like to use my fingers. I'm gonna use it as like a concealer exactly. or something. Yeah, in the same way, that's really cool actually, a cool tip. Like you can easily just take a little bit on the back of your hand, use your finger, and we're not using a concealer today mm -hmm. because it's just like quick every day. I'm not doing a full face, but you can build it up under your eye and it totally cuts that little darkness for you. And I always have so much redness on my nose. So. You and I both deal with redness. Yes, for not sure. my fave. <laughs> it's not my fave. Not love my a self-tanner to cover redness. <laughs> because the self-tanner color corrects. Yeah. Like I love self-tanner for color correction. And like same thing with using a foundation like this. You can use your fingers and just do like a really thin layer. It's basically just color correction with the lightest coverage and a glow. Yeah. So I feel like with any everyday makeup look, you always want to add a little bit of color back, right? For sure. So blush is usually my go-to, especially lately. Like so many new cream blushes have been coming out and I'm obsessed with Love this creams. hydrating and yeah. So this one from Westman Atelier is called the Baby Cheeks Blush Sticks and they come in a range of color. I don't know what shade you have. I think I have petal. I have petal too. Oh great, cool. Okay. So I love this shade petal. It's super neutral. It's kind of a little mauve-y. Show you what it looks like. But I will literally just rub this on my the back of my hands, the same place like I put my foundation. And then I'll use my ring finger to tap in and apply like that. Mm. 
that's smart. I'm gonna do the same. I know, because we were talking before, <laughs> and she's like, what are you gonna use for the blush? And I was like, honestly, I just really like using my fingers, and this is literally what I do every day. I love that. I'm gonna maybe use my my brush, but I do love the idea of like warming it up on your hand. I think like with a cream, it just makes it. Well, and after I go in with my finger, I'll go back in with my beauty blender. Oh, smart. So that kind of brings it all together. Ooh, so. this is so pretty. I love a cream for everyday makeup because I think it just looks the most natural. It's never gonna look like a powder and like sit on the top of your skin. It's always gonna blend. Not to mention when you're wearing, like you're thinking about your everyday makeup. I don't know about you, I want like good for my skin ingredients. So I wanna make sure, you know the creamy, Formulas, they're usually, you know, packed with like things like hyaluronic acid and exactly. nice yummy oils and things like that that all hydrate throughout the day. I have dry skin, so. Me too. Are you dry? Yeah. I'm like a normal, normal dry. Normal dry? It just depends. I'm like a dry dry. I think it's because like the like Sahara Desert dry. California, <laughs> just like so, it's so dry here. <laughs> like yeah. I've never was dry before. Now, parched. We'll do it for you. Oh. But it just looks so natural too. Like it gives you that little bit of color. Yeah. I like this. This. Um, this shade is pr very pretty. I like this shade because it almost does bronzer and blush for you. Like it adds a little bit of warmth in yeah. the undertone. But you're right. It's so pretty. I'm like a little on my nose. There we go. That's so. Yeah. It just gives you a fresh and glow. It's like it's so chic. I mean, the packaging is so chic. We've been talking about it right before we shot. We were like, this is the cutest packaging. It's just really. Oh, yeah. Hideous. It looks gorgeous with yeah. the brush, too. Yeah. It's just I like, mean, I like yours is like a little bit more of a color payoff. Yeah. And I, I like You it. can swipe it out, though. Mm -hmm. Again, same thing with the foundation or the blush. Like, you can use different tools and switch it up literally every day yeah. while you're doing routine to make it work for you. I applied it with a blush, so it's like just more translucent, I feel. But yeah, I like the way yours look with the brush. It kind of like, pushed out the color a little bit more. It's more natural. I got even more payoff. Yeah, you got so much more payoff. Using my finger. I mean, these products have incredible payoff. The they foundation really is super buildable, the blush is super buildable, and you can really create what you want. So if you want something a little bit more muted, or you can build it up. It just depends using your finger. I also feel like they wear really well throughout the day. Like, oh, yeah. it's kind of like a misnomer that things that are clean maybe don't last as long, but I have never experienced know, that with any no of more. these products. They truly, like, they last, which is great. Okay, so up next is brows. This is the Kosas Airbrow Clear and Clean Lifting Treatment. This is just a really great, I love the packaging, first of all. It's this so is like cool. my Isha's favorite. I, feel. I would just stare at this. It's so pretty. For hours. This, this looks, looks like new clean. to me and newer to me. Yes, because it too. just came out. Me too. Yes. Yeah. And they have shades as well. Like they, if you don't mm. want, want clear, they have like colors. So if you just want to like enhance your brows, which I also love for every day, I think that's yes. like does a world of difference. Because the tinted one, it's almost like you can skip the pencil and just use the tinted exactly. one. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I love a, this, especially for like summertime. I feel like my brows just, I want it to keep it light with my hair color and everything. So this is just a really great clear I have like brow. super thick unruly brows. You have beautiful brows. Thank gorgeous you. Gorgeous brows. Thank love them. you. Thank gorgeous. you. That is like the only thick hair I got from my father is oh my, my brows, but I'll take it. <laughs> it's so good. The hair on my head is super fine, but this stuff holds it in place. It does. I'm like, and I always Always, like really work it in so it basically like always back back comb it which makes it look like That's holy mammoth I honestly really forget oh, <laughs> look at my eyebrows <laughs> yes oh my gosh you look like the like those instagram models oh you've got it you've got it perfect you have such beautiful brows that looks crazy, but you're right. And then you can almost give it like a second to yes. sit and then brush That's it back out. Usually what I do is like, yeah, comb through it, mm -hmm. like just like put a lot of product in there, disperse it all throughout your brows. Give it like a second to get a little tacky and then... I love a bushy brow. And then like kind of comb through and, you know, tame it exactly the way you want it and that way it'll hold. Because then you can coat it. Yeah. That's really good advice. Like that's how you can actually coat the hairs. Um, also with the type of brow gels that like build in your volume and all of that, like it's just gonna work a little bit better for you. I also really like this brush. It's like a very really nice tapered small brush. Sometimes clear brow gel, depending on like 
where you get it is like, it can sometimes get a little flaky and this is not flaky. You can put it on and then you can go back during the day and like reshape your brows with something like this. Which I love because I'm always putting my like sweatshirt on and then like yeah. my brows go down it again. It makes a big difference. It does. This is really great. I love this one. All right, so I definitely cannot do everyday makeup without mascara. I don't know. Me I don't know what I would, if I only could choose one. If you yeah. could only choose one, what would you choose? One thing to One product for everyday makeup. Mascara. Mascara? For sure. I'm curious, I, if you could only choose one product, let us know in the comments below. Yes. I'd be really curious. I mean, most people I feel like say brows. Oh, maybe. I feel like that's a common one. I think mascara might be mine too. This one's incredible. This is from Ilya, and this is the fullest volumizing mascara. I'm so looking forward to trying this because I feel like the other one was more like defining. So this I've been volumizing. using this one and I'm obsessed. I haven't tried it yet. I'm really obsessed. So excited. I love a really fluffy brush, which this has like a nice fluffy brush in the sense that it's big. And I like anything that's volumizing. I also love that at the bottom of the brush, it kind of curves out. I feel like oh, it yeah. really helps with the outer corner of your lashes where oh. I want the most volume and good like point. lift. Yes, So good when point. you go in, you can like target that corner. Yes, okay. This is so great. I love this kind of brush too. I'm just always a little bit partial to brushes that are um, like an actual brush and not a um, plastic-like applicator, even though their other one is the plastic applicator and I'm obsessed with it. So I say that, but then I go back and forth. It just this depends on the formula. It's like um, between a brush and a plastic. Yeah. I like that. I think they've just really nailed it with their formulas and I feel like mascara is actually like the hardest thing to formulate and it's just so hard to develop because it has to like go with the brush, like the formula has to go with the brush. So whenever a brand really like gets it right, I'm just applaud them because I'm like, this is, this was probably really hard. What's your like biggest tip that you'd say when people apply their mascara? Don't be scared of getting it on your eyelid. Oh, good. One. I think people are sometimes so scared of getting mascara on their eyelid that they don't, they like won't coat their lashes. And as someone yeah. who, not bragging, I'm very grateful for a little bit longer lash, but um, I almost inevitably always gonna get a little bit on my eyelid and I just mm. wipe it off. Not yeah. that big of a deal. And people get so scared of it that I feel like you can't really get the full impact of the mascara. Yeah, you can always take it off, exactly. I feel like I got an insane amount of drama, a lot of volume. I'm happy with this. Last but not least, adding a little bit more color, we're going to use the new formulation from Bite. So this is called Power Move Hydrating Soft Matte Lipstick. And this color is Sugar Buns. Sugar Buns. Sugar Buns. This is, I really like this formula. I'm very excited about it. Comes in 20 shades. And- That's a lot of fun. It's a, That's a lot of and fun have, shades to choose from. They have their classic ones. Some of the classics like I Fig. saw there was Beetroot, yes. which is like, such a good color for you. I've been wearing beetroot for years, yes. so I'm so glad they have that again. I love it. I'm just like, I think this formula is so unique. What I like about this formula is that it is like a soft matte, but it is also hydrating. So it has like cocoa butter in it. This is the most lightweight matte formula I've ever tried right? in my life. It's like, I swear to you, it's it so like, lightweight. Air. Like a, yeah, it doesn't <laughs> feel like anything. It's so weird. It's like, the. I mean, it's, it's really great. And it's creamy. Like so, you can feel the conditioning properties that are in the formula. Like when you rub your lips together, it's not like it's air as in it's like dry. It's, it's yeah. creamy, it feels moisturizing. There are moisturizing ingredients, but it's just super lightweight. I, wow. It feels so interesting. It feels really, really nice. It's innovative. Yeah. It's really cool to see something new that's really innovative, like, and feels different. Yeah, I love it. I think this, I can't wait to try it. In this like, color is gorgeous colors. too, the sugar buns. I know, it's so cute. These products are so fun to play with and I just love the extra ingredient benefits that come with them. Yeah, it's really nice to have that in just your everyday routine. Let us know in the comments below which one of these you're really feeling. If you've tried any of them out, be sure to subscribe so that you can see more from us and we'll both see you next time. Bye. Thank you.